Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to do our Marguerite Miller planner number five. So it says I need a business card, a sticker, a security envelope design, which we're going to have to kind of make one. Text other than English. I've got some French dictionary. A place. Um, and bonus texture paper, which I embossed some paper. So let me get these are my my ladies ephemera sticker um, envelope that I made just thought I'd show that one because this is where I got this woman from out of here so I'm gonna put this up before I drop it and spill stickers all over the place yes I've done it before oh. okay so we we I embossed my, oops, let me flip it this way just in case we turn into some something else. Okay, so I, for my texture paper, embossed this. This is some, something from, I don't know, somewhere I got from the UK, so I'm guessing it came with um, Create and Craft, but I, I embossed it. But before I embossed it, because I want to use this window, I put it, I took a die, and I kind of took my embossing folder and took my scissors and gently, not so hard because I didn't want to tear up my embossing folder, and kind of rubbed around here so it would imprint where I wanted to place my circle so I could cut my circle out first and then I did my, my die cut. So let me just put this over here. Hope I don't lose it. Okay. And then I ran my paper through the die cut after I cut my circle so I can line my my hole up in the window. And then I got my textured paper. I don't know if you can see, but there you go. Yeah. It turned out pretty. All right, let me add this to my pile of stuff to file away. Oh my gosh, this is getting bad. All right, so I'm going to set this over here for now. And it said... A place, oh my gosh, a place, so since I had this, I actually had this map first, which this is from Janie B. Journal Mystery 9 pack, I just thought it was pretty because it's London, and then I thought, oh, well, this green goes good with that, and then I thought my lady went good with that, and then I pulled my other paper that I'm going to use from there, so I kind of got a little green and cream and tan thing going on. So let's go ahead and tear this so we can stick it on our journal card as a backer. I'm gonna put my scrap over there. I can reprint on that side in my size in my printing machine. My printing machine is a printer. <laughs> so if you're wondering what a printing machine is, it's just a copier. But she was a printing machine today because, oh, Lord, that girl printed some stuff. Oh, man, I kind of felt sorry for her. But she held up. All right, let me just stick that in there in case I forget. All right, so, you know, since I'm left-handed, <laughs> one of these days I'm going to do one the opposite direction for you guys. But I don't know if my brain can work that way. Right now, I'm not even going to see any of this stinking green because I'm going to put this on here. So I think we'll have to go this way anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all right, we're going to glue this up there. So let's just glue this, I think, because it says I need that text other than your, your English language, which is this, my French. And if there's any bad words on here... I don't speak French, so I have no idea what I'm putting on here. So I'm wondering. Oh, let's just rip this. Like right here. All right. Because I'm probably gonna put this down here you know I was trying to pull from different things that I hadn't used yet you know because I wanted to 
I found myself going back to places where I picked other things and I was like, uh, nope. Okay, let's do abundance. Because I have an abundance of paper. I have abundance of stuff. I know if my husband's watching this, just be quiet. I'm going to try my best to get rid of it. I'm working as hard as my little fingers and brains can go. It just isn't working out for me. Okay, so let's just tear around here. All right. Okay. So let me, let's ink this, ink this down. Hello. We're going to ink with some glue. We're going to glue this down. Oh, I hope this... You know, just because you think of something doesn't mean it's going to work out. And I decided it took me long enough to find these things. I couldn't really try to design much other than just kind of throwing it on the on the, on the table and going, okay, yep, 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 that looks good. So that's what you get with these Marguerite Miller challenges. You get all my time searching and looking for the things that I need. <laughs> and then design on the fly because, oh, you know... Just because you pull some stuff doesn't mean it's going to work or look good together. But you just keep layering it till it looks good. You know, that's my philosophy. <laughs> All right. Let's stick this on here so we have our background paper. Oh, I buried all my stuff. Yeah, because the, the journal cards and stuff that I made that's going to be showing tomorrow and the next day... Of course, I did a few little extra touches to it, but I can't show you the final thing because then it's going to spoil the next video. So I'll, I'll show you a final tomorrow on my next thing. All right. So we've got all that out. And now we're going to glue this on here. I don't have time to get my big ruler, so we're just going to use that. All right. Let's, oh, gosh. See, I don't know why. Everything is just, like, hidden all the time. Do y'all do that to yourselves? Granted, I only have 13 and a half inches of workspace on this glass mat, which once I get this... I know, you're tired of hearing. Once I get this table cleaned off, and I'm going to... I'm going to have some bigger workspace because I need more than 13 and a half inches of workspace. I have decided that. Let me just use some book paper to do this so I don't get it all over my mat. And then I'm going to get it somewhere that I don't want it. And oh, then I'm not going to be happy. All right. So let's gently put a little glue on here because this is kind of thin paper. You would think that it would be a little more yellow, but I guess wherever it lived before wasn't too long ago. <laughs> but it's pretty. I want to dye some of it and see what it looks like after it's coffee dyed. But, you know, once I make 27 copies of myself, I might can do some of these other things. All right, let's put this down here. All right, so now we have our background that we're going to start stacking all of our other stuff on. Let me get a little more vicious on the back. All right. So I hope y'all are having a good day or had a good day, had a good week, had a good everything. All right, so I have, once again, no marker. Okay, hold on. I got a marker. All right, so we're doing this. We have text other than English. So I did that one. I have um, a place, which we are in White Bread's New Plain of London. That's where we went to. We took a road trip. All right. So now... My my bonus, which is my textured paper. I mean, you're not going to see any of my green behind there. So I don't know why I was all fretting about it. 
because what I'm going to do behind there isn't going to make a hill of beans. So let me just kind of go around and kind of just stress a little bit of this texture so you can see that it is and then go around our window give it a little texture you know these little spots here they're just calling for some sequins and nouveau drops <gasps> imagine that but let's just kind of go around it so it brings up the the design a little more all right so if I'm gonna do that I wanted to take since you know yesterday we did a side tucky thing I thought today we would do a top pocket Ooh, I ventured far on that one all right so let's I need to trim this index card down I'm gonna go to three and three quarters and see if that will work a little bit better so this is a coffee dye index card that I did which is a four by six that I just now cut down to three and three quarters okay so if we do that and obviously I'm gonna to want to put some little bit of acetate on the back um, mm -mm. I was trying not to play with old sticky gram again but I think I'm gonna to have to let me pull one out because I didn't put it up yet, so it's right here handy. Oh, hey, I think that's, that might be, oh man, that might be a perfect, perfect little scrap. Okay, let's cut this and put it on there. Put that back in my little acetate hole. And then... We just go around the circle and about a half inch on the sides. So let's just go around our circle. And if we need some extra, you know, we'll stick some glue on the side. some glue on the very sides just so nothing gets caught I broke my fingernail the other day and now I can't grab nothing like I said you can't grab stuff if you have nails you can't grab stuff if you don't have nails it sure helps you picking up vellum and stuff if you have fingernails all right so we have that which we're gonna have to let it dry for a little bit starting to get a little warpy oh, okay so 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 all right my idea for the pocket is while well, that's drying okay well I'm gonna use a coin envelope and turn it into a little security pocket that's what I'm wanting to do <coughs> and this is going to be the paper I'm going to put behind there on my journal card. Because see, look how pretty. It just all kind of goes together. And then when you pull the card out, you'll get to see a little bit of the of the place. <coughs> and you'll get to see a, a spot on there. But not much green, but oh well. What can I say? What can I say? All right. So I think I want to leave the lines. I don't know. I kind of like that because it looks like my little... A little woman that's here with her little French she was out in the French parks picking some flowers and stuff with her little bow in her hair hope I'm in frame yep gosh I'm you know, working down working my way working my way back to you girl All right okay I've talked myself into it I'm gonna glue this side I think when I coffee die I'm just gonna coffee dye on one side so I don't have to make that horrible decision of which one which side do I want well I know this decision I need right now is I got to tear this side or I sure be gluing it on the wrong spot ay 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 
Just because it's torn on one part doesn't mean it's torn down the rest. All right, well, let me go ahead and tear the top so I know I'm lining it up on the right side. Because I sure will be gluing it up top. Okay, so now let's put some, some wet glue on here, some art glitter glue, some permanent glue. And we're going to stick it on here. I tell you, I understand I got the whole pack of vintage wallpaper, but some of them are my favorite. And some of them I'm sure will eventually be a favorite, but not right now. But I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it, Jane. All right, so I have that on there. Now let me, whoops. Let me put this underneath my block for just a minute while it's trying to finish gluing itself while I trim this off. Oop. Got to see the side where the paper is. Yes, it is. Okay, let me take these, which what I thought I was going to have to do with that is not going to work, so I will have to be rethinking that in a minute. All right. Let me go ahead and ink around here. And actually, I think, I think, I think, maybe I'm going to round the edges on here. Just to soften it up so it's not so harsh. And when y'all see the business card I'm using, yes, it's a true store and it exists. <laughs> and I just happened to find it when I was digging through a box of stuff over there in my office. And I mean, I don't know why I have it, but it just goes perfect with with my little French girl and my little French places and stuff. and. It's kind of funny so and I know why I have it because the girl that worked for us her name is Crystal <sighs> Lord that poor child she had double G's and she was only 18 well you know she started working with us when she was 18 right out of high school and then worked for us for four years while she was in college and uh, that poor girl <laughs> oh, Lord she couldn't tie her own shoes and she tried to get a reduction, but the, her, her health insurance would not pay for it because she was too young. But come on, people. You know, when you're that young and, and, and you have that much stuff and you don't want to have that much stuff, please let somebody get them reduced just a little bit. Because it's just going to save her so much grief down the road. So, poor Crystal. You know, and then it was so hard because she couldn't find nothing to wear because, you know, she was like a, a size medium, but she would need, you know, she would wear a large, which was very snug up top and could never get nothing that buttoned and anything. But, oh, that poor girl. <sighs> you know, see, if God would just evenly distribute certain assets, then, it, you know, we would, everybody would have a, a fair shot at things. All right, not saying that I'm missing any, but I sure don't have double G's. Now, my daughter's got a double D. I don't know where she got that from. Had to be somewhere on her father's side. Her, her, her dad's Italian, and she's, you know, got that dark hair and that olive skin and stuff. And I'm telling you, she definitely got that. And then my granddaughter. All right, Emily, I'm going to tell on you. Sorry. <laughs> she's 19. Poor girl. She didn't, I mean, when the booby fairy was coming out, they passed her right up. <laughs> oh, but she's so cute, you know. I mean, God gave her a nice butt and stuff, and she's, you know, tall, because my daughter's tall. She's tall, and just, but yeah, you know, 
They sure passed her up um, in, in the booby aisle. All right, that's enough. Sorry, Emily. I love you. It's your mama's fault. It's not mine. Actually, it's your daddy's fault. Oh, sorry. You know, that side of the family. Now I'm wondering, do I want... I don't know. I might. I'm wanting... I think I'm going to do my little deckle edge. Because I'm just not liking this straight, straight edge with all this other stuff. So let's put it in here and hope for the best. Yeah, so-so. I know it's loud, I'm sorry, but I just now thought about doing it. And let me, I think I'm gonna leave the top cause I'm gonna have to, I might do a little hole punch and I think I'll leave the bottom. Oh, I think I gotta sneeze. Oh, oh in my eyeballs, in my eyeballs. Oh, both of them, ay ay ay. Mm, 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 mm. See, that's cause I talk a smack about Emily. She done put some bad mojo on me long distance. Shame on you, M.M. Okay. All right. I didn't even look at the time. It's only supposed to take 30 minutes, but this bad boy is going to take longer than 30 minutes. All right. Because you're yeah, just so detailed, people. Right. See, I'm going to have to trim my little card down a little bit more. Um, Let's take it from this side. Then I'm going to have to recut my... So we're going to make it... Three and five eighths, I believe. No, oh, let's make it three and a half. Who am I kidding? Because by the time my glue spreads in there, dries, it'll be stuck, and I don't want a stuck card. So let me just snip the little edges off. Re ink around there. Okay, and then let me go ahead and try to ink around this edge. I mean, this is 65 pound um, cardstock. Oh, just in case you y'all are wondering what it is, it's from Michaels, and it's without the glare um, earth, and it just has all these pretty earthy tones in there. I love it. Because it's not too bright, not too dark, just like Goldilocks and Three Bears. Not too firm, not too too soft, just right. My, what big eyes you have! I know that's from another one, but I just thought I'd do it up. All right, let me use my little my two-inch hold thummy thing and just give it a little bit of snip just in case anybody gets confused they know it's supposed to be a pocket <laughs> all right now is my little thingy I'm thinking I want to put this sorry I got the sniffles now here she's gonna go in there that's gonna go in there who am I missing oh well, she's my sticker Got my business card, got my language, my texture paper. All right, maybe I'm just missing myself. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm going to glue this. Let me just put a little pencil mark right there, and I can erase it if need be. But that's where I want to glue this. So that way it can start adhering because... After I embossed it, it sure got a little wimpy. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. All right. Hefty, hefty, hefty. All right, so let me hold that for a minute. And then, then I'm going to have to pull my other piece of here because I want to, my pizza, 
my pizza here. How you spell that? P I S S A pizza <laughs> instead of P I E C E piece. My other piece here. That should be good. Let me grab this. I'm not going to stick it in there yet because, you know, I don't want to disappoint myself. Which I'm going to disappoint myself anyway because I forgot to put a stinking circle on there where this girl's going to be. Let me make sure that it's going to be on my paper, okay? Because if we glue it on here, yeah, it's going to be just right. See, got ahead of myself. All right, let me get my little piece of green paper because I want to use the same one. Hold on, I didn't put my stack of paper far. All right, because I sure thought we was going to have some extra. Now let me go ahead and I want this green one. Let me just set this under my block for a minute. Or should I say blocks? Because it's quite large. Let me let that glue for a minute. And then we'll tear here. Which if I put my middle rows down here. Right, so I want to at least go on this side. Put this in my little scrap pile now. So I've been lost where I'm supposed to be. Okay, on the side of this one. All right. Then Now if you don't want any of the coin envelope to show, then Just cut it a little wider, but I kind of want some of mine to show. Because I'm a flasher, you know. <laughs> Apparently, in the card world. Alright. So let's ink around here. Flash. Oh. Actually, what's that one by Ray Stevens? They call him the street. Put your clothes back on. Is that you, Ethel? That was a good song. <laughs> it was cute. Oh, all right. Get back to Crafton. See, my mind wanders all over the place. It entertains itself, even though I'm supposed to be doing something here. It's just not happy with doing this. It has to go somewhere else. Which is quite dangerous, as you all well know. Cause she ain't wearing no clothes and that's what I'm calling the streak. Let me see how long I've got into this. Oh Lord, I'm at 28 minutes already? Holy Toledo! Alright, so that's going to be that. And then I have to look at it again because I don't know. Alright, what I wanted to do is I took... I have this little three hole punch thing, which, you know, my stinking die sticking here all the time. And I've tried the wax paper, I've tried the foil, but it still sticks. I wish somebody would invent a punch that punches, that lasts forever. Timex need to do one. Because, you know, I get tired of spending my money and my stuff not working. Hold on, I'm trying to find my circles that I pre punched. Because, you know, I was trying to get ahead of the game. There's one. And then I lost them. Because it's buried in this little bin. Alright, I got them now. Okay. So I'm just going to stick my brown ones to this other gray, which is... A, whoa! These are just regular craft stock, which are like 65 pounds. And this is a 110 pound card stock, because I just want my security thing because I don't know 
Now, at first I was thinking maybe a window envelope, like, you know, a security envelope. But then I wasn't quite sure what they meant. And then I thought, well, don't they call these little thingies with the little loopy-loos a security inner office memo thing? I don't know. So that's what I'm going with. You know, anything that takes more time to create. <laughs> oh. All right. Let that set for a minute. Let me see if my other things kind of squished by now. Oh yeah, it's flattened out a little more. So let's see if our if our card's gonna fit in there. Yep. Still a little snug, but let's give us some lipo. Come go around, suck some of that glue up, give a little more space, <laughs> put some elastic pants on it. Oh. All right, that's better. Okay, so now the fifty million dollar question. Oh Lord, don't lose your little dots. That's that's the important thing. Okay, I need. Hmm. I need my woman to go underneath there so I can see her face. But I didn't draw around there like a smart person would have. Because I want it to be difficult. But I want it to be like right here, I think, is where I'm wanting her face. That's where her face is going to be. Because if it goes in there, where'd it go? Oh, good God. How can you? Oh. All right, so I want it to be there. Okay, guys. And I don't think I want to put anything behind her. I, I like the... the oh, I just like the wallpaper stuff. So I'm going to leave this card kind of naked. Because she's going to have to go to the store in a little while with her business card. So. All right. Oh, Lord, please let me put her in the right spot. Please let her little face show. Please let me find my mark I just made. Oh, my gosh. Y'all. Oh, right there. Okay. So. Ooh, okay. Here we go. See, that might be too much for me. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what she looks like. All right, let me not stick her all the way down because I got to pull her off. And get a little crazy. Oh no. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Even if I put this up here, she's going to need something. I don't want to. And she's cockeyed. Oh, Y'all. Can I do it? Nope. She's going to have to stay cockeyed. Well. Snot grads. Let's use a little French. I sure wish I knew what some of this meant. Abundant. That should be abundant. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, that's a lot. We devour. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's just see. Let's see if I can, well, if, let's go this way. Let's see if I can make some washi out of dictionary. Oh, nope. It's not going to let me. Come on, people. Come on, little. There you go, there you go, there you go. And so I thought maybe if I... Put this like that on here. I know I'm reaching now. Whoo, reaching, reaching. But I got to put something up top. Um, 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 um. Okay, I got something else for tomorrow's thing. Let me. Let me see. 
Where is that other thing I had? This is from um, Janie B. Journal's Mystery 8. Maybe. Okay, let's. Oh, maybe we'll put some of these little flowers on here. So let's tear this out. So we can stay with the kind of golden hues. Don't know how much I want, but. Oh, it's a jeweler. Yep. She's going to use her business card that's getting ready to come into that pocket. And then she's going to get taken to the jewelers after she uses the other business card. Okay, I'm getting a little tacky. When you see the business card, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is funny, though, how it's all kind of like falling into place. I don't know if I want to cover that up now. I don't think I'm gonna because it's just when you see the the business card you'll understand <laughs> and it's just a personal joke whoever gets this you'll have to watch the video and know that this is what was going on in my little mind when all this came together I mean I'm telling you we have been in this house for eight years and Oh my gosh, this girl, I mean, Crystal hadn't worked for us, oh God, mm, probably six years before this, and the fact that I somehow, some reason, kept this crazy business card is just amazing. I don't know why, obviously because I, I, I found some humor in it, but... Oh, Lord. And I'm probably going to put something else on here. I don't know. But let me put this on here just so this will be a little more cockeyed. Let me see if any of this... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you have to read this. Oh, my God. It says there are three stages. Firstly, headaches. Because she used her business card... Then she got her, went to the jewelry store, and now in her third stage is, is she has headaches. Oh my gosh. That's too funny. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, let me stick this on here. I've been tickled myself. Oh, good grief. Okay. So I'm going to put this over there because, I mean, it probably needs something, but not right now with my little brain. Okay. So let me stick this underneath my my thing. Okay. Let, let's, let's get back to my little coin envelope. Now, I don't know what to put on here. Maybe, where's that? Is there something else on here that's kind of funny? No. Okay, we might just have to leave this for here right now. All right, um, up top. Oh, y'all, this is going to be an hour long. Oh, dear grief. Okay, so we put this here. Oh, I got to ink around here first. And i got to put some paper on the inside because, you know, it always has that little stick on there. You don't want to get wet and stick on your stuff because oh, that would just be wrong. Okay, let me see again. Okay, we're going to put, we're going to try to put abundant on here. Oh my gosh, I tore that pretty good. Let's see if I can ink it without tearing it. Oh, 
Oh, and I still got to put our little dually boppies in there with some brads. Our security envelope stuff. All right, I might have bit off more than I could chew on this one. That's because I got too busy going into my own little story world. And then we'll just go ahead and put some more on the back just so it kind of matches and covers the whatever that is, the glue. All right, let me see if I can ink. Sounds like my husband's up from his little nap. Women and children first. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Make sure there wasn't nothing. Like I said, not that I would understand any of these words, but some of them's written in English. But a lot of them is, is in French. So I apologize if anything's bad on there. All right. So let me mark this off while that glues. We have a sticker. We're doing our security envelope right now. Um, I got some texture paper so that just leaves me with our little business card. All right, let's put this over here. Come on. Dry, will you? Dry. I know. Oh, I got to mess with this. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, let me grab some brads real quick. I sure didn't bring any. And I actually just put this crazy thing up earlier. Oh, those are eyelets. Ugh, long thing. Hold on, guys. I'm starving. All right. A little brad box out. Yeah, I keep Brad Pitt in here. I got a brad box. <laughs> All right. Dun, dun. That wasn't funny. Maybe it was, but. All right, what size? I just need a little one. I guess I'll stick with the green since I'm green in it. And I got these. Oh, Lord. Hobby Lobby. Way back when. Nope. We want to stick with the green. All right, oh, now I need two. I know where y'all come from, <laughs> this equals two. But apparently where I come from now, it equals three. So let me put this up real quick. Like I said, before I spill it. Oh, all right. Okay, this is still drying. Let's ink around... Oh, I need some twine. Oh, I got some right here. Some embroidery thread. I'll use some embroidery thread. Good thing I thought about that because I sure would have glued these bad boys down with no twine and then what? Oh, no security envelope. That was the whole point of this. Let me grab it out right now. So I think I'm going to stick with some gold. So let's go. Oh, about eight inches. We should be safe. It's too late. I didn't cut it now. And let me go ahead and tie a knot in the end. In case any of y'all didn't see some of my first videos, I always use my little, whoops, my bead tweezers to get through here because, oh my gosh, usually I don't fight with it like that, but nope, today we're going to fight. And then just pull it through and then you just kind of walk it down so that way all your little embroidery threads don't come untwisted. And then you have a, another hot mess going on. But this is how I pull all my 
loops and ribbons and everything through. All right, now we gotta poke some holes in here. Where's my uh, hair? I need something to poke a hole through besides my fingers. Let me get an old book real quick. That still, still might not be big enough for my bread. I might have to bring out my spellbinder pokey tool. But at least I got a hole in it and I won't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't put a hole in my fingers. But you know, there's always that possibility. That one. Or I'll be fighting putting this Brad through here. Sure enough. Alright, so now. Oh, I need to put him through here. Let's get it in the middle. You know, I know that says that, but that sure doesn't look like it's in the middle. But it says it's in the middle, so oh, we're going to put it there. All right, let's stick him in here. Push this down. And then I'm going to should have enough room to go around there. And I'm going to have to glue a little piece of something on here so it doesn't catch on everything. And now I want to put this down here. Oh, let me put something in there before I... Well, you won't even know I poked a hole through it because it's going to be glued on the thing. So, if I did... Oops. So I'm just going to poke a hole through it. Because it's going to be glued on there. I hope I can reach down in there and glue some paper. Alright, so now, since that's going to be here, this is going to be here, I want to glue... Oh, I used to have my masking tape over here, but... Let me just glue this on here. Oh, let's not, because we're going to glue our little thing down there. So. Alright, so that would be good. So right there. Let's, drew it, let's glue it straight down. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're going to stick that on there. Give it a minute. And now i got to punch a little piece of paper out. I'll use oh, I don't want to use something too thick. Where's a good book page? Here's a good book page. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and do that one with, with a bigger hole. Maybe I can get it lined up on there better. And then my other one. Oh, let me just spit nails and try to poke a hole out with this one. drives me nuts there's my wine for the day wait, 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 wait. but come on people make something that works you know it's not like they give it to you for free you actually have to pay for it alright is that gonna oops <laughs> he's glued on don't pull it off you dummy you just put it on there Oh, gosh, I don't know if I should put support submit on there. All right, I'm going to. If you don't like it, cover it up. Oh, this thing has just gone wrong. Oh, my gosh, wrong in my head, wrong everywhere. All right, so that's on there to cover our little 
brad up so it won't poke you or anything that's going in there. And now I'm going to put this through here. Well, I'm going to try. My tongue poked out. And then I got to poke it through here. If I want to put just a little bit of glue, not too much because, you know, we've got to be able to wrap this thing around it. Woo. All right, let's put this in here. Y'all, this might be bad. All right, let's see if I can open it up without jamming it in my finger, which, of course, this is the nail I had to break, so I don't have any nail in there. Good so far. Shh. All right. Now let me glue this down there to keep that brad closed. Let's see if we can get it in there. Because you know it's kind of down there. All right. So we have made an itty bitty security coin envelope project. Because, you know, let's not just make one project. No, let's make three in one. Oh, we still got to do our business card. Okay. Let me just ink around here a little bit. And ink around there a little bit. I know it doesn't make a hill of beans, but... All right, guys. Are you ready? Here we go. So this is the business card that I found that I have managed to hold on for, like... Oh, my God. Oh, was eight, 16 years maybe. It is La Di Da Fine Lingerie. And yes, it is a real place in um, Webster, Texas, which is um, Bay Alpha Bay Area Boulevard, which is right down the road from NASA Space Center. It's a whole little, you know, world of itself. But I found that because, um, you know, it's custom fit bras because that's where Crystal had to get her bra. And I thought, oh my God. And then... Just now, when I did this, that they went to the jewelers and goldsmith because, you know, she went to the lingerie store and her man's like, uh-huh, we're going to the jewelry store. And then back here where, I mean, on the front here, which I've kind of covered it up now. Oh, my gosh. But, oh, where'd it go? Something about with headaches. Oh, it starts here. Oh, I covered up the headaches. But it had, you know, it started out with headaches. That was just too much. Oh, I'm bad right here. <laughs> so, if you're with my little sick brain, she went to the lingerie store, got her business card. Then they went to the jewelry store. Oh, I'm close to the mic, but I'm getting loud. I'm sorry. She went to the jewelry store and got her some gold. And then after she got all her stuff, she started with, it was her three stages. And she, you know, she got headaches now. So, hello. Is that not too funny? All right. Sorry that I only got that. <laughs> Let's see if we can dirty this up a little bit. Okay, anyway, uh, grunge this up. We don't need to dirty it up anymore because, you know, it's already dirty. But And I was going to cover it, but, I mean, I'm sorry. That is just too precious. And in the back, you know, it kind of looks like marble on the back. So I'm just going to leave this business card just as it is because it is just too much. And let me... That's dry now. Let me see if I can stick... Oh... <gasps> Nope, that's not going to work. All right. I'm going to have to hold my mouth just right and cut a little divot in here. Oops. So you can actually pull it out. Because, I mean, it is the perfect size for this little thing. And it just went with all of this. And I'm sorry. I couldn't not do it because it's too funny. And, and my string might be too long, but oh well. So sad. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to glue this on here because that's our little, I've turned our little thing into a pocket with our little lingerie in here. And I'm just going to glue this whole thing down. Because I need it to stick. Because you're going to be pulling that little card in and out. So let's just stick it on here. 
so but I don't want my little London to be covered so I want it to be at an angle and my little strings gonna dangle so let me hold that down for a little bit and we're gonna put this in here like I said I'm gonna I'll come back and put some um, ribbon or some kind of fabric pull on there and then I'm gonna put some sequins and stuff on here and I might put a little label on there I'm not sure but I mean I am pushing almost to one hour with my little demented card so yeah it's naked all right anyway it needs a little more stuff on there but I have managed to get everything that they asked for on here it just needs a little bit more stuff but like I said there's no way I'm gonna be able to finish um, doctoring this up in in four minutes so this is our Marguerite Miller um, challenge number five <laughs> 90 percent you know we're at the 90 percent channel here so this might actually be 85%. You know, I'm going downhill. But I will finish putting some final touches on here and jazzing it up a little bit. And, you know, I hope my my off humor wasn't so bad for y'all. But, I mean, I'm sorry. It just all came into place. And the fact that I had all that stuff and kept it after all the time is just... It was meant to be. So, whatever journal this goes into... Please appreciate the, the humor that was behind this and the history that was behind this because, I mean, it's just too funny. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for putting up with me. And um, I hope you have a blessed night. And I hope you come back. And thanks again for everything. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.